All right, guys, here we have it. A massive box as part of the mail day. So this is not the only mail we have, but it was going to be way too difficult to get on the desk. So we're just going to open this right here. Yeah. What's in this box? You remember when I said we we're going to pull a ghost rear? Yeah, we're going to pull a ghost rear. All right, let's get this thing open. What is it? Some people guessed Gold Series Haunted Mine, which was a pretty good guess since you get a guaranteed ghost rare in every pack. So pre pretty solid guess on that. I don't know how this audio is gonna be because this is just a uh, this is just my phone audio. So let's set that over here. Huh? What is this? We got an extra little pack of stuff. Oh, these are. <laughs> These are uh, sports cards. I'm gonna have to open up some. Uh, we're gonna have to open these up in a second. Some NFL trading cards and some NBA. So that's actually kind of exciting for me, to be honest. So we'll, we'll open that later. But here we go. Bum bum. The dreaded peanuts. Pink peanuts at that. What is it? A sealed case of secrets of eternity. Yeah, I know. Oh, Secrets of Eternity. Not, not too, uh, not too exciting. But you know what that means? That means we're gonna open this sucker until we get a ghost rare. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, you're like okay, one case. That's pretty cool. But what if I told you? Just wait. Where's the Where's the ESPN thirty for thirty voice? What if I told you there was another one? So yeah. Good luck, Konami, not giving me a ghost rare. Because we got two cases of Secrets of Eternity. Now, this is actually like a really cheap set, but it's actually pretty cool. I've never opened it before, and it's actually five years old. So it's not even like a, like a new set because it still has ultimate rares and ghosts, obviously. So I'm cutting open this thing open. Uh, I'm going to cut one of them open for now, and we'll see what happens with the second one. I'm guessing we won't need two to get a ghost rare. But better safe than sorry. So, boom. 12 boxes, Secrets of Eternity. We are going to uh, open up these. All right. Let me let me know, guys, if you guys want to see me op just do one massive video, Search for the Ghost, where I open up like 12 boxes in a row or however many it takes to get to the ghost. Or if you think I should split it up and do like maybe two or three boxes or maybe just one box um, per video. I was thinking like, originally I was thinking, yeah, let's do like a, you know, I'll open this case until I get the, until I get a ghost rare, which would be pretty awesome. It might be really long though. That's the thing. I could do like three per video, like three, vi three boxes. That would be pretty good. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Let's hop over to the other mail. I actually have some really other, really other, some really nice other mail. So this is going to be really exciting. Um, the set itself is cheap, but I actually think it'll be really fun to open to get ulties and ghosts, you know, like multiple copies, like multiple ulties and multiple go not multiple ghosts. Well, maybe multiple ghosts if we get really lucky, but yeah, pretty exciting. Let's get into the next part. What's up guys, Ruxin34 back here with another video. In today's video, I've already showed you guys some epic booster case mail. Yeah, not just booster box, booster case. Opened up two or not we didn't open them both but we have 24 boxes of secrets of eternity so guaranteed ghost rare basically not guaranteed we could have some crazy boxes that don't have them in it but basically guaranteed so yeah make sure you guys check out my last video which was the massive lob original uh not original but first set some of most of it's original some of it's not um, first set giveaway. So the entire lob set I'm giving away make sure you guys go like and comment on that video for a chance to win it and also, um, I got my new computer, so hopefully it, it's way better so far. But the only problem is it's the new Mac, and they love to switch adapters. So I need to get an adapter for my microphone. So I don't have my microphone yet. We're using my phone audio, so it might sound a little bit different, but it should be okay. So let's go ahead and open these two uh, packages, as well as these sports cards that we got. So uh, yeah, let's um, let's do the let's do the football first. Let's do uh, let's see what we got in here. We got looks like Dak Zeke. Russell Wilson, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, and Cam. Why is Cam on there? I guess this was before this season because he didn't even play this season. There might have been a date on here. Oh, 2016. That's why, oh, that's why Cam's on there because he used to be really good in 2016. All right. 
So let's see what we can get. Ooh, Lamar Miller on the Houston Texans. Jamal Charles, he used to be really good. Um, Duke Johnson, he's still there, I think. Alshon Jeffrey, Golden Tate, Robert Woods. Oh, Julio Jones, that's cool. He's still really good. Power Tools. Amari Cooper, not on the Raiders anymore. Oh, Upside Down, Jalen Marshall. Alex Collins, he played at Arkansas. That's my favorite college school. Um, and then we got some 15% uh, off, so pretty cool. Um, oh, I definitely have not set my computer to... Because... Uh, I haven't. I didn't migrate everything over because my other computer is just horrible, so I didn't want to risk anything. Um, so it's gonna keep wanting to turn off because it's not. It's, supposed to, it's not kept on uh, backlit like or whatever you say. You know, it it, it dims. I, I don't even know what to say there. But let's open this uh, basketball pack. I don't even know what year it is, but Panini. Let's get through this real quick. Mellow with the Knicks. How old is this pack? Oh my goodness, Serge. Robin Lopez. We got a Kawhi at the Spurs. Man, this is an ancient pack. Tim Hardaway Jr. James Harden, nice. And Kimba. That was interesting. I haven't opened a lot of sports cards in my time, so pretty cool. I do like sports. Um, I just don't really collect the cards. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and open this. This is... Actually, let's save this one for last because it's really awesome. Um, let's do this one. This is also really awesome, but... Um, not quite as awesome, I would say. Um, as you see, this did get damaged, so I'm, re I'm really hoping that this didn't damage anything in here, because this package got dented, and yeah, so, let's see if I can not do that, there we go. Let's see if I can get this thing open, it's so, uh, bent and stuff, it's like crazy. Just gonna have to do this over here. Really hope this was not damaged. That would be kind of a bummer. These uh, priority small flat rates with a lot of tape are pretty tough to open. All right, here we go. You have to use a little brute force here because this thing has the sticky pad on the front. That don't th it, it ripped. Okay, maybe that'll work. Okay, perfect. All right, yeah, here we go. All right, let's just go ahead and get this out. All right, looks like we're okay, but boom. Enemy of Justice. This is the box that I was I've mentioned a couple of times. Enemy of Justice hobby box. We're gonna double check that it's hobby once we get it open. Because we definitely want the hobby over the retail in this set because the retail is not so good. Um, it does have, have like Harpy's Pet Dragon and stuff, which is kind of cool, but it's not that great. Um, we definitely when this is open, because it's gonna be open, I want to pull that. Shining Phoenix Enforcer because that thing is awesome. Right now I have a Phoenix Enforcer. Oh my gosh, that thing's dusty. This thing feels like it's been in a like a warehouse or something. All right, so but it overall it didn't get dented, which is nice. It is that uh, 35. I believe that's the right code. One one zero three eight three five. I think that's the right code for Hobby Box Enemy of Justice. Um, Hopefully we can get that Shining Phoenix Enforcer Ultimate Rare when we open this. I do have the Phoenix Enforcer Ultimate Rare PSA 10 that I got from Fiche on Instagram. Um, so that's amazing. But I also really like the uh, the other Ultra Rare. What's he called? He's called the... Um, I'm trying to... Th I keep saying Amazon is Chain Master, but that's that's completely different. This is the uh, Dread, Ma Dread Master or something. I don't know, but it, I can't remember what his name is, but he looks amazing. And I've never owned one, so... It'd be really cool. I think he's also an ultra rare in this set, so getting him an ulti would be amazing. So this is going to be super fun to open. Probably going to do it really soon, but we have so many openings coming up. Let me know what you guys want to see first, because we're definitely going to be doing an epic hobby GX box tomorrow for someone else. That is not mine, so we're going to be doing that tomorrow, so we have to do that. Then I still have this box. I have the ghost rare search. I have the Legendary Duelist. I have the Two Dragons of Legend boxes. So there's so many different things coming up. Um, let me know what you guys want to see first because tomorrow's already set for the GX box, but I'm sure you guys are really going to want, want to watch that probably first anyway. So you, I mean, I don't even need to put that as an option. Um, but let me know about the other stuff because there's a lot of good stuff. 
Finally, let's get into this. This is an epic finale to what I'm gonna call a $3,500 mail day if you include my computer because my computer was very expensive. So um, you can figure it out by doing the math. So $3,500 mail day, by the way. Yeah, and I know you're thinking, yeah, he's rich. I'm not rich. I now have no money. So <laughs> I just spent it all and I also sold a bunch of stuff. So thanks to everybody who bought stuff for me on Instagram. I appreciate it. Here we go. This is from a friend on Instagram. He sold me this card, and if you know him, it'll make perfect sense where it came from. You'll probably know as soon as you see it. But here we go. As you can see right there, that's Beckett. So you're like, wait a second. Beckett? Oh, I ruined it. All right, let's hope you didn't see it. All right, Beckett. I don't buy Beckett. I only buy Beckett. Well, not always, but I bought this card in Beckett. It can only be graded by Beckett. BGS9 Misprint Rainbow Dragon. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so I got this from TCG Cantu on Instagram. He's a big Rainbow Dragon fan. So while this is a Rainbow Dragon, it has a different picture. But it even has a Ray's name, which is really epic. So it is like a Ray's name. Um, if you guys don't know what this card is, this is, if you know what Rainbow Dragon looks like, this is not Rainbow Dragon. This is Chaos Neos. So you're like, wait a second, why is that picture there? It's a misprint. They're supposed, they're supposed to be Rainbow Dragon there. Um, actually, no, it's not supposed to be Rainbow Dragon. It's supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to say Chaos Neos on this one because this is a glass set. So um, instead of saying Chaos Neos, it says Rainbow Dragon. Then there's the Tactical Evolution version, which should be... All right, yeah. All right, we cut out for a second. I'm not sure what just happened, but um, we have... What I was saying is, in the Tactical Evolution version, there is... It's a, an effect monster. It's supposed to be a Rainbow Dragon, which is normally an effect monster, and it has this picture and instead. It has the Chaos Neo, so it's just the flip-flop, and it's um, much, much rarer. Very rare to find that one, so... Um, it's a really, a really epic card to pick up. So thanks again, man, if you watch this video for selling me this super edition, super edition, super epic edition to my collection. So um, a really awesome mail day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for all these awesome box openings and make sure to check out the, the huge giveaway I'm doing in the last video. And that's it for today, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Dark.